This video is sponsored by Storyblocks Video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to explode text without using any kind of explosive, just 100% after effects. I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and without any further ado, let's get started. have ever been in the need for a quick video clip for a b-roll after effects template or motion backgrounds then storyblocks video is for you i personally use storyblocks for my youtube videos client projects and many other different stuff there are times when your creative needs are compromised due to low budget for example, let's say I am shooting a short film and my location is near Statue of Liberty and I want an aerial footage of Statue of Liberty and taking a drone shot would exceed my budget because drone shots are not that cheap. That is when Storyblocks video comes in and I can easily search for an aerial footage of the Statue of Liberty and use it in my video. Storyblocks is a subscription based resource providing unlimited downloads of royalty free stock footages, motion backgrounds and after effects templates. All videos are 100% royalty free and you can keep all the media forever. New clips are added regularly so there is always something fresh to download. Make sure to check out Storyblocks video, the link will be down in the description. Alright so here we are in After Effects, let's start by creating a new composition which is going to be 1920 by 1080 let's make this 30 fps, 10 seconds should be good and let's call this main as this is going to be our main composition. Hit OK, let's create one more composition where we can drag any logo or type in any title that we want so I'll call it text, hit OK and select the text tool. And you can of course type in anything that you want. I'm just going to type in explode. Let's align it into the center. Also for the font, I'm going with the Montserrat extra bold. I'll just increase the size a bit and align it into the center just like so. This looks good. Now into the main comp, I can drag in my text composition just like so and add an effect called shatter which is an inbuilt after effects effect and it's very useful for creating some exploding title animations so for the view i'll set this to rendered so we can see the final view so you can see we have this very simple explosion of the text which looks kind of a bricks because the shape is set to bricks so i'll set this to glass so now you can see it looks more like a glass effect but it has that depth that extrusion and I don't want this much of extrusion with this so what I can do is I can go right over here and set the extrusion to zero now I want much more pieces of glass so I can set this to around 12 you can also go very crazy if you want really you know more detailed glass you can you know something like that but 12 works good for me so I'm going to go with 12 now let's go ahead into the force section and I'm just going to bring down the force to maybe let's go with 0.05 so that it doesn't move a lot. But right now you can see it, it falls on to the ground or at the bottom because we have some gravity going on into our physics section. So I'll turn off the gravity by setting this to zero. So now it stays into the place and we have this really nice shatter effect with just few clicks as you can see. So yeah very simple and easy to create now yes you're right we can achieve the shattering effect or the exploding effect with just this few changes but we're going to try to make this very detailed and add some nice depth so let's move on with the tutorial so now what i can do is i can pre-comb this so hit Control shift c i'll call this medium pieces so i'll call this med underscore p for medium pieces move all attributes hit ok and let's add a shatter effect onto this composition again so i'll add that set this to rendered go into the shape select the glass one again go back into the physics set this gravity to zero and now we have something like that now let's go ahead into the force one section and bring down the strength to 0.5 and also for the extrusion I'll bring this down to 0.1. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to animate or give keyframes on the radius of the explosion because I want them to you know shatter 
a lot into Z space. So let's go to around, maybe I'll go to four seconds and set the radius of the force one to around, maybe I'll go with, um, let's go with actually 0.1. Let's start very small, create a keyframe, go to eight seconds and bring this up all the way up to one. So if I hit you, you can see we have these two keyframes and we have this really interesting look. So first, just this section of our text is exploding and then it moves ahead with a nice shockwave kind of feel. And that is what I am going for. You can see pretty simple and easy to create. Also, let's go into the force two section and bring down the strength of this one to let's bring this down to one. So it doesn't affect our force field one. And then I can go into the physics section and I don't think I'm going to change anything into the physics section. Now we have our big pieces of glass, but now I want some nice small explosion, which looks like a glass, you know, which has some nice particles into that. So now I can select this layer and hit control D to duplicate it. Let's rename this to SM small underscore P for pieces or so small pieces. And now I'm going to change a few settings into this. So let's go into the shape and I think I'm going to increase the repetition really high to get some nice particles. So let's go all the way up to 200. Just like so you can see we have this really nice particles which add some nice depth just by increasing the repetitions. Also, I'm going to bring the bring down the extrusion depth to maybe 0 0.02 because it's going to be very, very minimal. And now what I'm going to do is let's go into the force two section and increase the strength all the way up to nine. And one more thing that we need to do is go into the force one field, hit U so we can see the keyframes. Go right over here at four seconds where we created a keyframe on the radius of force one and increase this to 0.15, that is 0 0.15. So we have much more particles as you can see. Looking pretty cool. So now we have some nice detail into our text. You can also play around with the force two. We have already increased this. Maybe I'll increase this to around 10. Let's see what we get. Nothing much of a difference, but now let's create one more copy. So I'm going to select the small pieces composition and hit control D to duplicate it. So now we have now small pieces too. Let's solo this up so we can see just the effects on this particular comp. I'll go into the force field one and I don't think I need to change anything into this section. Let's move to four seconds so we can see all the changes that we have made. Force field two, I don't think we need to change anything into this section as well. I'll go into the physics section and all we need to do is increase the mass variance. So I'll increase this to maybe double. So I'll go with 60% just like that. And I think that is pretty much it. For this layer, let's duplicate the mid medium pieces. So I'll hit control D to duplicate it, put this on the top and change the blending mode to I'll go with darken. So we have the particles in front instead of, you know, being being at the back. You can see the big pieces are now in the front of the text and the small particles. So now we have a very interesting explosion going on, as you can see. Pretty cool. Let's select all the layers and hit control shift C to precompose them. Call this animation. All right. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to six seconds, hit S to create a keyframe on hundred percent, go back in time. Let's set this to around maybe 80%. Then I'll move on to let's go around six sun six. Um, six second and 15 frames and zoom in a lot till the time all the particles are out of the frame just like so so around maybe I'll go with 1400 so now I can select all the keyframes and hit F9 to ease the keyframes go into the graph editor and if you don't see the curve into the graph editor you can right click and select edit speed graph 
and then I'll select this and move the handle to the right just like so so we have a much more nice animation that zooms in now the comp is a bit heavy so it may take a few seconds to you know get rendered or you know just to be previewing onto your screen anyways i'll just turn on the motion blur which will add some nice you know organic motion blur as you can see onto our animation and for the sake i'm just going to keep it off for now go back into our timeline and now what i can do is go to somewhere around there and add our title so i'll select a new comp i'll create a new comp call this title and again it can be anything that you want i'm just going to select the text and call it maybe a website so w dot um, visual effects dot com align it into the center make this a bit smaller just like so there we go and then add some nice tracking animation onto this so i'll go ahead and add a tracking animation create a keyframe go to around 10 seconds all the way and increase this so let's go back into the main comp drag in the title nice simple animation i'll select the layer and hold alt and close square bracket to cut this up it's really nice maybe it's a bit too slow i'll increase this really high and then what i can do is i'll go right here where all the particles are out of the frame and hit s to bring down the scale properties create a keyframe and then go back maybe somewhere around there and let's set this to around maybe 60 or something and hit t to bring down opacity create a keyframe set this to zero go to 15 frames and set this to 100 all right hit u so we can see all the keyframes select the keyframes hit f9 go into the graph editor and let's give it a really nice curve just like that so now let's see what we have so right now you can see the timing isn't matching properly so i'll just move them a bit back and yeah i think now it's perfect let's see maybe for the opacity i'll increase the timing a bit and for the scaling as well it's a bit too fast yep this looks much better as you can see also you can obviously turn on motion blur for this titles oh let's make this motion blur on and there we have our exploding title animation so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did then make sure to subscribe comment and like also check out my video hive portfolio from the name mean machine i make templates for after effects professional crisp and amazing make sure to check it out the link will be down in the description and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care thank you so much for watching and don't forget to stay raw stay creative